lot of people have asked me the same question. What is the best code editor for writing blockchain applications? Of course, there is Remix, the online code editor for Solidity. But if you want to write advanced smart contract, you need an offline code editor. If you are a real programming Jedi like me, you can use Vim. But if you are just a Padawan or just someone who doesn't want to memorize hundreds of key combinations, then I recommend to use Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is a code editor created by Microsoft in 2015 that rapidly took over the role. It is the most popular for web development and also for blockchain. But if you really want to boost your productivity with Visual Studio Code, you need to install the five Visual Studio Code extensions that I'm about to show you in this video. If you don't know me, I'm Julian, and on my channel, Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development and how to find your first blockchain job. Solidity is by far the most popular blockchain extension for Visual Studio Code. It packs most of the features that you need for developing Solidity smart contracts. So if you just have to install one blockchain extension for Visual Studio Code, it has to be this one. So let's go over the main features. So first it has nice syntax highlighting, then it has code completion. Then it's also possible to run a Solidity linter with Solium or Solhint. And it's possible to configure the exact linting rule by having a solhint.json file at the root of your project. It's also possible to set here prettier for your code. So that means that every time you make a change and you save your file, it's going to automatically reformat your code to fit a certain set of rules that you decide in advance. And like for the linting, you can also configure this with a configuration file at the root of your project.prettier.json. You can also run MythX, which is a security analysis tool for Solidity. You only need to sign up for a free account on the website of MythX and it's going to give you API keys that you're going to configure in Visual Studio Code. And there is also a ton of customization that you can do in the settings of the extension, like what's the optimization for the Solidity compiler. You can use a local version for the Solidity compiler. You can configure the linter, the prettier formatting, and many other stuff. Viper is an alternative language for smart contracts that focuses on security and simple syntax. There are actually very few projects that use it in production, so I only recommend to use Viper if you're already advanced with Solidity and you want to experience something new. The main feature of the Viper extension for Visual Studio Code is syntax highlighting for Viper. However, the big difference with the Solidity extension is that for Viper, you need to install the Viper compiler yourself. It doesn't come bundled with the Viper extension. DeFi or decentralized finance is the new big trend in blockchain. So if you're a blockchain developer and you want to stay current, you got to jump on that train. One of the main difficulties with DeFi is to keep up with the different projects, the smart contract, the addresses, and this DeFi extension is going to help you. It can give you a bunch of info for different tokens, like their address, their market capitalization. It also has a couple of code snippets for DeFi protocols and many other cool features. It might be a bit surprising, but Microsoft is actually a big player in the blockchain ecosystem. And they are also a big partner of Truffle, which is the most popular framework for writing Solidity smart contract. So this extension covers some integration for Truffle and also for the blockchain services of Microsoft Azure. You can create Truffle project, deploy to Ganache, deploy to Infura, and deploy to Azure, all in a visual way. So with this extension, it's going to give you a massive instant productivity boost. There will be two categories of programmers, the one who have these extensions and the others. But don't be so arrogant, because if you want to become a real Jedi like me, you need to use Vim. Vim is a terminal-based editor where you only use your keyboard, no mouse. 
The big advantages of Vim is that one, you get way faster because you only use your fingers, you never touch your mouse. And second, even more important, you reduce the stress a lot on your finger and on your wrist. And if you want to long last as a programmer, that's actually very, very important. So I don't necessarily recommend Vim to beginners, but if you're looking to level up your game, check out this other video where I explain how to combine Vim and Tmux to make a super productive blockchain IDE. I'll see you there.